Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use for loop in TCL programming. So in TCL for loop, having three, you can say parameters or arguments for because every instruction in TCL is a command. So and this is the opening curly brace. This is the closing curly brace. Now you you need to remember that you need to provide a space between these curly braces, these three parts. So first part is the initialization part. Second part we specify our condition, and third part uh, we want to increment or decrement. So these three part are similar as we are having in our C programming for loop. The only difference is the, in their syntax. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to print value from 1 to 10. So in this one, we need to initialize our variable. So for initialization, we need to go for this command, set a1. In this one, we need to specify the condition. So as we have seen in previous tutorial as well, condition can be specified directly. So $a is less than 11. Now here, I need to increase value of a by 1 only. So in that case there is a command incr. So this command will work that task for you and here I am printing the value. So if I will run this file it's printing from 1 to 10. Now the thing is that if we won't provide a space between these parts it will show you an error. And another thing, this opening curly brace has to be in the same line. So, and if you so, if you don't want to use this incr, what we can do, we uh, can use expr command. So, what you want, we want to write here a is equal to a plus one. So, what we want to write a is equal to a plus one. So first thing is that we are assigning something to A. So we need to use set A. And this side we are performing an addition operation. So as we have seen for performing addition operation, we need to go for expr command. Now what we want, we want this expression to be replaced by its output. So we need to enclose this one in bracket. So this will also work in the same line. So it's working perfectly. Thank you very much for watching.